I've been here before, but <clears throat> I really want to like state like I think this is like the legit season. This quarter four is legit season of showing up for myself and choosing the better habits over the good habits. I mean, <laughs> choosing the better habits over the negative habits. Um, and you know, like showing up for yourself, what it does for you, yo, it just changes your whole mind. Like, look, guys. I got my mom some flowers today, y'all. I got my mom some flowers today. That's how good of spirits I'm in. Like, she's long overdue for some flowers, but you know what I'm saying? It just puts you more clear-minded. And honestly, I really think it's really because of the food. I haven't really ate anything today. And I and it hasn't allowed me to think negatively. Like, negative thoughts come in my head, but it hasn't overtaken me, like... It hasn't put me in a sulking mood or made me want to rush and have anxiety and rush to like just consume something to get my mind off something, right? It actually has helped me focus. So like this is just confirmation of I'm knowing that the food I'm eating is the reason why I'm in worser places. You know what I'm saying? Like the food that we consume plays a major part in our lives. Real talk. Real talk. And me, I'm a person who eats a lot, a lot, a lot of frozen foods, bro. Like, I'm not proud of it, bro. I could cook if I wanted to, but, like, I got so used to eating processed food, so quick to warm it up, so quick to throw it in the, uh, the, um, what is it called? The oven or the air fryer that, like, that's what I just consume. You know what I'm saying? And I won't go out my way to buy food at the store and, you know, go cook it. And that's really a problem. And me not eating any of that today, fasting, only drinking water, and then now I'm drinking my fruit smoothie, it just confirmed it, what I've been saying to myself. It's just that I didn't have the discipline to not eat it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many times I came in the house after the gym and like, yo, bro, you cannot eat this shit. You know it's bad for you. Why do you continuously go to the grocery store and buy this shit, bro? Why? Why do you not love yourself, bro? And today, I finally loved myself, bro. Finally, bro. Finally. Like, I could cry right now. Because, yo, you don't even understand how it's a battle between you and yourself. Like, that is the biggest, biggest, biggest battle ever. Is you against you, bro. And, like, it is one of the hardest things. One of the hardest things. But it's coming to a point where I'm tired of being tired. And I've said this countless of times. And I've still found a way to mess up. But the mind has changed because I understand that I'm going to mess up. I'm going to make mistakes. And it's okay. Because just like how I'm not giving up and I'm jumping back on a horse, that's what I have to do each and every day day. That's what I have to do each and every time because that's what the journey is. If I didn't mess up a week ago, if I didn't mess up a month ago, I wouldn't be here right now. So to say that, to say this, through trials and tribulations, it's supposed to happen so it can get you to that next level. You need that lower low to get to that higher high. Real shit. Like I'm just grateful for today. Like This might have been like one of the best days of my life. And it has nothing to do with money. It has absolutely nothing to do with money. That's why money, it doesn't matter about the money. Because I'm, I'm such at a high vibration. <clears throat> Anything I'm trying to do, I'm going to have the energy and the vibration to attract what I truly want. Right? So family, think about the things that's going on in your life that may be holding you back. And that can be the way you eat. The extra activities that you do and, you know, the when it comes to, like, you know, social media and, and the technologies, you know, putting it down a little bit. That's that's one of my biggest things, too. So <clears throat> even, you know, the drugs, alcohol, weed, <clears throat> slowly but surely, man, slowly but surely, I finally was able to put down weed, um, slowly but surely changing my eating habits. And lastly, when it comes down to consuming, I need to produce more than I consume. So that's the number. That's another third thing that I'm in the process of. And it's all a process. It's all a process. There's at one point I didn't think I could even put down a blunt. 
Now I don't even think about it. Like, I don't even think about it, man. There was times I was in my car searching for coins just to put $10 together to get a grand, bro. Like, on some fiend shit. On some fiend shit. Now, I'm not even thinking about weed. Weed is not even on my mind. That's not even the thought process. So, give yourself some grace and everything takes time on this journey. Everything takes time on this journey. I'm proud of you wherever you at. I'm proud of you where yet wherever you're at. Wherever you're at, I'm proud of you. Keep going. Keep striving. You messed up yesterday. All right. We we back on it tomorrow. You mess up tomorrow, we back on it the next day. Like until we get it. Until we get it. Because if we don't quit, eventually we're gonna get it. Eventually it's gonna click. Eventually it's gonna you know what I'm saying? And I'm feeling good right now, right? A week from now, a month from now, I could be back in my old shit. But this time around, I am, I'm just praying, you know, that I can stick through this. God's guiding me. God has protected me. The God within me, my spirit, <clears throat> wants more. So I will have more. And that's why I am where I am now. That's why my mindset is better. Months ago, man, I couldn't get out of bed. Months ago, I couldn't get out of bed. So for me to be here right now is a blessing, man. I can't. It's a blessing. I can't even, can't even stunt. It's a blessing. Just love yourself a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Peace, family.